It's about nine o'clock in the morning on uh, Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. We, I, just opened up this next to the last area here in this row along the uh, western part of my field. And uh, the last time they were here was probably January 25th or 26th. I know that because the first calf was born on January 24th, and this is where the calf was born. I remember because the field was super, super muddy. Um, commentator said that I'm leaving my cows basically to wallow in their own muck. And that, that's partially true. Um, I mean, here's an old patty from a month ago. You know, but that's just, it's just dirt now. You know, when the weather, well, the weather is warming up now, the bacteria and stuff will get to work on that and it'll be even more um, dirt, right, than manure. It happens pretty quick, especially when your soil is alive. Um, and it's damp, it has to be damp. If it's too dry or too cold, it won't do it. <coughs> but this is all mud. And the mud came because I'm on clay soil and um, it rained a lot. And then the cows um, mixed that all up and churned it up together. Let's go look at the last area they're in. This I left them last night, about six o'clock p.m. I left this area. There was about three or four feet of hay left at the peak in that hay little mountain. And when I come here, they're all complaining to me like, where's the hay, where's the hay, I'm hungry. So they're all happy now, but yeah, there's plenty of manure. Um, one of the things that I'm not concerned about is a cow stepping in manure. That just doesn't mean anything. They basically got little shoes on their feet called hooves where they should be, as long as everything's working correctly, they should be protected from the environment. <coughs> um, the issue with manure, um, I'm not concerned like if a cow poops and immediately a cow goes over and licks at it. It's not a big deal. The parasites that live in the manure, they have to live outside of the body for a certain number of days, about three days, before they hatch and become infectious. So as long as you don't go back to three day old manure and have your cows eat around that, it'll be perfectly fine. The other thing is cows are really, really picky. So if we were, had tons of grass and one of the cows dropped a patty, um, and I come back, you know, three weeks, six weeks later and the cows are grazing, they're gonna eat around that patty. They're not gonna eat the patty. They're not gonna eat the grass that's touching the patty. So you find like little green tufts of grass left over with manure patties in the middle that are, you know, two weeks, two months old. They're really sensitive. Um, and uh, if there's plenty of grass, then they'll just kind of avoid the patty altogether. They won't even get close to it, you know. But unfortunately, they do poop where they eat. That's how cows work. Uh, that's how sheep work. That's how most of animals work, you know. And we know from basic hygiene and sanitization that pooping where you eat is a bad idea. So, but uh, that's why we move the cows and why I try to move them every three days at least, at most. Um, with these hay bales, I just give them the hay until it's gone, which is about two days, one and a half days. Um, somebody said, oh, they should be eating more hay. Well, I mean, yeah, maybe. Uh, I can't force them to eat more hay though. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna put crack cocaine in there, you know, and make them eat more hay. Uh, another person said that my cow's condition isn't very good. Um, yeah, I don't feed them grain. They're not fat. Let's go look at their condition right now. Sorry, the wind is blowing from the south. It's about 70 degrees already, 65, 68, 70, something like that. Uh, there's wind blowing from the south. I'll try to cover up the microphones here with my hands. Um, so yeah, the condition of my cows, no, they're not fat. Um, it'd be silly to think that they should be fat at the end of winter, the beginning of spring when the grass hasn't even grown yet. I gotta get rid of my hat, it's gonna blow away. <coughs> uh, we are a grass-fed operation. I don't feed them grain if I can avoid it. 
Um, if I don't have grass, I feed them hay. Um, and a uh, protein supplement, that's a cottonseed meal. They take cottonseed, because they grow cotton down here, it's really cheap. <clears throat> and they grind it up and it's high in protein. And the cows will eat what they need. And so I give them about 100 pounds a day of that. And then uh, they have uh, minerals they can lick on if they want to. Um, so hopefully one day the grass will have enough minerals they don't want to lick on the minerals anymore. So let's look at the condition of the cows. So what are we looking for? Those of you who don't know what cows are, what a fat cow looks like, what a skinny cow looks like, let's go over here. These two are kind of skinny. Um, so 24. All last year, so last year in February, we had a big ice storm, it caused a lot of damage. Um, it was really hard on the cows, right? So 24 was pretty skinny. All the other cows were skinny too because we are coming out of the drought and I was just feeding them um, rations to keep them alive, feed. Um, I, I should have sold cows, I didn't. Um, so I, I fed them. I gave them a measured amount, enough to keep their condition from going too low. So this is what she looked like, uh, a little bit skinnier than this. What are we looking at? Well, there's the hip bones. Um, you can see the rib bones. If you can see the rib bones, that means they're a condition four below. It means they're kind of skinny, okay? Uh, another thing to look for is on the back, there's like little bumps. So if she was fat, that back ridge would be all filled in and be flat on the top. It wouldn't be like a like a wing or a fin or whatever it is. So she's pretty skinny. This one's pretty skinny too, but not as skinny. Uh, you can start to see a little bit of the ribs. The back, the ridge is coming out a little bit. The hip bones kind of a little bit sharp, right? Another place to look is the base of the tail. If that's empty, it means they're skinny. Should be filled in with folds of fat. So she's pretty skinny. She's always been skinny last year. She didn't fatten up. But she was the first to give me a calf, so I'm not complaining too much. Let's go find, this one's probably average. No, you can see a rib or two. But you can see that the tail is filled in. The ridge on the back is, is a lot shallower, I guess, because there's more meat up there. This one's a little bit fatter. The ridge in the back is almost gone. Um, I don't know if that's ribs or just how the, the fur is folded. But you can see the tail is filled in too. And the hip bone is starting to disappear. Let's go find a fat cow. Number 10 is pretty good condition. Red's in decent condition too. So you can start to see red, like her hip bone is rounded. Your tail's filled in really nice. The back is almost flat. Here's number 10. She's half Brahmin. Brahmin do really well in droughts. But you can see the back is just, there's barely a line. Uh, the hip bone is round, not sharp. And, oh, she almost has folds of fat in the back of her tail there. All right, here we go. Let's get to my fattest cow. This is number 21. Uh, she's always been the fattest. But she put on weight the quickest after the, when the grass started to grow. You can't even tell that she has a hip bone. Her back is flat. You can build a, a building on her back. Use it to level. <laughs> the, there's folds of fat in the tail here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. There, yeah, you can see folds of fat starting to develop on the tail there. She's not extremely fat. Like, they can get fatter, but she's pretty fat. Okay. Now, I'll tell you this too. My longhorns, they never really got fat. They just kind of maintain their weight. They increase weight a little bit. I, I don't know if it's just because they don't like eating or maybe they don't like grass. Maybe longhorns are special, they need grain. No, they, they, they like grass. Um, but they never really put on weight. Now, in terms of weight, especially for a cow-calf operation, <coughs> the goal is not to have fat cows. The goal is to get calves, healthy calves. That's all that I want. If the cows were skinny and I got healthy calves, then that's fine. If the cows were fat and I got healthy cows, calves, then that's fine, right? The goal is to keep them alive and healthy, right? And there's been research done on this and they found that if the cow is too fat, the calf suffers. 
And if the cow is too skinny, the calf suffers. Now, for those of you who are raising steer and selling them at the market, these cows look positively skinny, right? You probably wouldn't make much money at all if you brought them to market to sell for meat. But that's not what they're for, right? So I want them at a very, very healthy weight. I want them, you know, maybe a little bit underweight, maybe a little bit overweight, but the goal isn't to put a lot of fat on their bones, right? I don't want them to have diabetes. Um, I don't want them to have a struggle just moving around. You know, I want them to be comfortable and happy. And so a cow like this, you can see the rib bones, hip bones a little bit sharp, the tail's a little bit empty. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe she could put some more weight on. But since I'm not feeding them grain, um, they don't gain weight very quickly. You know, just like if you were eating a balanced diet the way you're supposed to, not the way the government tells you to, but the way you're supposed to, uh, you wouldn't put on weight very quickly either. In fact, the healthiest people in our society are not those people with flabs of fat coming out of their butt, like a cow. Uh, they're not the people where you can't see the ribs. And they're not the people that when they suck in their gut. Uh, uh, those people that are healthiest in our society are the people that have a good weight, right? They're not too fat. They're not super skinny either. But uh, you can see their muscle. Uh, you can see some of their bones. Uh, you can see their veins. Things like that, right? And so that's what <coughs> a healthy cow should look like too. Now we're used to, as I was saying, we're used to uh, seeing fat cows, especially if you feed your cows, um, because grains aren't healthy. That's not what cows are supposed to eat. Um, you feed cows grain, they get all kinds of problems. Um, you keep them on grass out in the pasture where they belong, a lot of those problems just disappear, right? Like the hoofs. I don't have to trim hoofs. I've never had to trim a hoof on a cow. I've never had a cow in the three years of doing this where I said, oh my goodness, I have to do some medical care to that cow or the cow's going to die or the cow's going to be very uncomfortable. Well, I, the, one, the one case, two cases this year was the retained placenta and the calf that was too... Uh, I'm sorry, the first time mom that was too small, right? Number one. She's over there, by the way. She's still struggling. She's having a bad day. But so that's the point is keep them healthy. Get good calves out of them. Raise those calves on good, healthy, nutritious things that they're supposed to eat. Uh, give them plenty of clean, fresh space to run around in and uh, make friends and have a healthy social life, right? I wish I had grass these guys could hide in. That's all they want to do right now is hide. They can't take a nap unless they're hiding, right? They're little babies. These guys are just little babies. You know, nature asks so much of our calves. You know, human babies, how long do we uh, carry them before they start to walk on their own? But these calves are expected to walk within like an hour of birth. Hey, 31. How are you doing? So, yeah. That's what we got. And what, what's great is these calves, they'll start grazing soon. They'll start eating grass like within a week and it won't be enough to sustain them, but um, within a couple months, they uh, could be weaned if you wanted to, but typically we don't. I don't plan on weaning these guys at all. Um, I plan on keeping them on for a whole year uh, and then separating out the bulls and the steer and then uh, and that kind of stuff, so. Hey, number 36 just sunning in the sun enjoying all the sunlight they can get all right that's what i got to see on that is yes there's poop in the field uh i do rotate them i'm not concerned if a cow steps in a piece of poop or if a cow licks a piece of poop it's not a big deal um my cows are not super fat some of them are some of them aren't um, i don't care if they're fat that's not my concern my concern is that they give me healthy calf each year and we don't want super fat cows because super fat cows don't give birth to healthy calves. So, and plus, since I don't feed them grain, they're not going to get fat quickly. They're, they're going to take their time. If I had plenty of surplus grass, they'd probably be fat by now, but I don't. All right, guys, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.